welcome back to my channel everyone. It's great to see you. Today we're going to learn all about perimeter and area. And I've got some Minecraft examples for you today, so let's dig in. All right, so before we get started on some problems, I want to talk a little bit about the vocabulary words. So we have the word perimeter, and I like to think of circling the word rim in that and thinking of around, the word around. So when we're thinking of a rectangle that we want to find the perimeter of, we want to find the distance around the shape or the outside of the shape. Then we have the word area, and that is the space inside of the shape. So we have perimeter is around, and area is inside. What a very rainy day here in Minecraft. I wish it was like this in real life. But I'm just going to keep making a rectangle for you to help us practice. So I've made 14 blocks long and 8 blocks wide. Let me just finish this up for you. Make it a complete rectangle. Voila! And now it is ready for you to start practicing your perimeter and area skills. Alright, so here are the dimensions that we know of so far. We know that this is 8 by 14. And we also know a little bit about perimeter being the outside of the shape, the distance around it and area being the inside of the shape. So for this shape, we're going to try finding the perimeter and area. Let's start with the perimeter. And I want you to think of what we need to be able to find the perimeter. What operation do we need to do and what numbers do we need? Okay, great. We're going to need this 8 and 14. And if we want the distance all the way around it, we're going to need to add up the sides. And so in that case, how long is this side? Okay, great. It's eight blocks long. And how about this side? Okay, awesome. 14. All right, now it's just a matter of adding these up. So I want you to pause the video and take a minute to add up all four numbers and see what the total perimeter is. All right, let's check your work and I want to show you my favorite way of adding up um, the, the four numbers on a rectangle. I like to start with doubles because it's just easier for me. So if I add up 14 and 14, I get 28. And then I add up 8 plus 8, which is 16. So see, some of these doubles, you just have it in, in your brain. You just know what they are, so it just makes it a bit easier. Then, what do you think we need to do for my strategy? What do we need to do with 28 and 16? Okay, great. We're going to add those up. I will do that over here so I have space. Okay, 28 plus 16. 8 plus 6 is 14. And then there's four. So the perimeter is 44 blocks long. Okay, so great job on the perimeter. Now we're going to work on the area of the shape, area of the rectangle. And we talked before about how the area is the inside. And so we can also learn a little bit about the way that you probably used to find area and also a good strategy for fifth grade. So when you used to find area, I'm guessing that you might have seen a rectangle with lots of little boxes on the inside that you can count. So this one would look like eight rows of 14 blocks. 
So just like in Minecraft, you could count, you know, each, maybe each row, so 14 plus 14 plus 14, eight times. And so that just takes a long time though. Once you start getting up into fifth grade and you have bigger, um, usually bigger numbers than these even, you really don't want to count that many blocks. That just takes so long. So can anyone think of a shortcut for that? Instead of counting eight rows of 14, is there a shortcut? Okay, I bet someone thought of eight rows of or groups of 14 is really the same as multiplication. So we can do 14 times eight. And another thing to know is that area can be written like this, length times width. Okay, so let's go ahead. Eight times four is 32. One times eight is eight, plus the three is 11. So for the area, I'm getting 112 square blocks. All right, still raining here. Oh, hey, little piggies. Thanks for getting out of our way. Okay, so this one I'm going to make bigger than the last one. I'm going to make it 19 blocks long and 10 blocks wide. And then this one I'm going to let you kind of take control a little bit more and try a lot of these by yourself first and then of course I'll go over them just to make sure we feel confident about it but I think you're gonna do great so here's the shape here's the rectangle 19 by 10 and so let's move over to the whiteboard to figure it out all right so now we can take a look at this second example and I went ahead and drew the rectangle that we built and the length is 19 the width is 10. And so now I want you to work on finding the perimeter. Pause the video and see if you can figure out the perimeter. All right, let's check your work. So I'm seeing that we need all four sides labeled, just like last time. And now I can start adding these up. So we know that 10 and 10 make 20. We will need to figure out 19 plus 19. Okay, I got 38, and then I'm just going to add on the 20. And I get 58 blocks. That's the distance around this particular rectangle. And now I want you to pause the video and see if you can find the area of this shape. So remember the inside of it. And we now have a formula that's length times width that you can use to figure out the area. So pause the video and see if you can figure it out. All right, let's check your work. So I see length times width, so I could do 19 times 10. And I could also be thinking about if this had rows with boxes in it, like in Minecraft, I would be seeing 10 rows with 19 in each row, so 10 rows of 19, it makes sense that we're gonna multiply. And I love multiplying with a 10 because I can think about it this way. What is one times 19? Good, 19. And then how many zeros are in my two factors? Oh, just one. So I'm gonna put just one in my product or my answer. So that means that this would be filled in with 190 Minecraft blocks. Great job. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you in your math this year, either in school or at home. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.